Tillis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you both for being here. And General Golfing, I wish you the very best. And what I hope is just a change of jobs, not a real retirement. Um, but um, uh, I want to start back maybe on the KC-46. We know it's uh, we're going to have some down at Seymour Johnson. We've got the hangar project. I like uh, that. I know that it was originally slated for later this year, where we are with the hangar project, where we are with the deployment. And there was one project that was affected with some of the reprogramming of the Milcon money. I think it was a relatively low dollar item, but I believe it did have to do with the ultimate deployment of the, uh, the tanker. So if I can get an update on that, I would appreciate it. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I don't know that uh, it, right now I have not been briefed that it would have any impact on the bed down timing, but I'll, let me take that to make sure. And can I get back to you? Yeah, I know at, at the time that we were going through those discussions, it didn't look like it was on the critical path. I would like to know when it would be, uh, you know, as we work to backfill that funding. Uh, thank you. Um, I know that we uh, recently, I think as recently as last week, put out the Tenant Bill of Rights for our military housing situation. It looks like it may be a good start, but there are some who feel like it needs to go further. Can you give me an update specifically with the Air Force, what progress we're making and what priority this is for you, Secretary Barrett? Well, it's very high priority. My first visit as Secretary was to go to a base and to do a walkthrough of housing. I've gone through a number of base housing facilities and have uh, been very much involved in this process. The, we signed out the Bill of Rights, but only 15 of the 18 elements, but the three elements that were not uh, on the Bill of Rights, in contrast with what were the directed 18, were three things that we cannot unilaterally do. Uh, they were uh, mandate the, uh, the disclosure of maintenance records back seven years. In some cases, there aren't seven years of records, so we have to work on that. The dispute resolution technique, uh, because again, they, um, in some cases, the housing provider has bonds that they can't, uh, that they cannot uh, breach in the in the dispute resolution process, and the third item is withholding of uh, the the rent. Yeah. So those three items we're working through as a contractual matter, and we'll uh, anticipate having solutions to those as well as time goes on. In the meantime, we are withholding payments to these contractors. Uh, in some cases, significant amounts of payments. And uh, so there is a financial involvement. They, we, I believe, do have their attention at this point, and there is good, apparently good faith effort to move this forward. Well, very good. After the NDA, I know that you all uh, tried to move forward with the promulgation of the Tenant Bill of Rights. We're looking for feedback on additional things that we should put into this NDA to help us get rid of what I think is an unacceptable situation with a lot of our uh, military families in, uh, in housing, so thank you for that. Um, one other uh, parochial issue, and if I have time, I may have one other uh, question, otherwise I'll submit it for the record. North Carolina has the most historically black colleges and universities in the nation. We have 11. We have the largest at NCA and T, and we have the most affordable down at Elizabeth City State, and they've got a program specifically focused on aviation science. Uh, they're doing a good job there. They've got a great collaboration with the Coast Guard. We're working right now to help out with maybe uh, some runway uh, upgrades. And they also have the uh, College Student Pre-Commissioning Initiative there uh, that I think is, has been very good uh, for talent uh, building. Um, one thing that I'd be interested in getting your commitment to is just considering whether or not we could have a, an Air Force ROTC program down there just to take a look at it. I had some of my staff down visiting with the chancellor recently. It's an impressive program. We've got a record of collaboration with the Coast Guard, and I'd like you all to give that a look. Can I get your commitment to take a look at that? Full commitment. Thank you. Last thing, I'll submit the, a question I had on the EQ4 and some movement to man versus unmanned uh, platforms for the record. But um, I would also, I got a, a great briefing from the, uh, the Army on uh, their taking advantage of some of the provisions in the NDA around talent management. They look like they're really moving aggressively. Can you all give me an idea of uh, how we're going to look a year from now or in the coming months with the Air Force? Sir, we're going through the, the largest overhaul of our officer talent management and enlisted in, in, in talent management than, since about the early 80s. So not only are we using technology for the purposes of managing career paths, 
but we have uh, busted the single line of the Air Force promotion category into six categories. Mm -hmm. uh, we're defining what behaviors uh, that we desire and what constitutes a competitive career for the purposes of promotion. So a year from now, it's not going to look anything like it does today. Good. If we can get an opportunity, I'd like to have maybe a briefing in the office. I thought it was sure. very helpful for us to do that. We can get into greater detail. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you both. And thank